Hello. Hey. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. I'm Kratai. I'm Brett. And this is Pearl. So a few months ago, we bought Pearl, a uh, 32-year-old RV to renovate and upgrade so that we can do uh, long-term travel eventually. We made a video already where we gave everybody a tour of Pearl in our current state and talked about the repairs and upgrades we plan to do. So if you haven't watched that already, make sure you subscribe and go back and watch that video when you finish this one. That video. <laughs> Currently, we're in the process of ordering all the materials to fix the exterior water leaks and yeah. uh, holes and stuff like that. We've already ordered some and we're waiting for them to arrive. In the meantime, we thought we would share some of our knowledge that we learned on our 6,000 mile road trip going across the country up through North Dakota, down to Colorado, and back home to North Carolina. There's lots of tips and tricks videos for RVers out there, so we tried to share the ones that nobody's talking about. See, we out here, uh, start with our first tip. No! You remember what happened last time? Uh, ew! Yes. Let's not do that again. The first time we took the RV out, it was just a test run and we planned to clean all the inside while letting chemicals sit in the holding tanks so that we'd be at an RV park and if there were any leaks, it would all go straight down the sewer hose into the RV park instead of in our driveway. So I went to take the cap off and found that our gate valve seals were leaking. So when I removed the cap, a mess fell right on the ground. And of course, our drinking water hose was right in the area too. It smelled horrible. So um, we had watched a bunch of videos and they said something about everybody's gonna have some kind of poo incident at some point. But I thought, oh, not, not us. We just had a little bit of seepage, like maybe two tablespoons. And it was the most ungodly smell ever. Tip number one, pull out your sewer hose, connect it to the ground, and then hold the other end underneath your sewer cap while you're removing it. So any seepage will just spill into your sewer hose and then you can connect it and then it'll drain down into the sewer pipe at the RV park. So that brings us to the next tip, which is if your gate valves are also leaking, you can fix that easily with a Valterra twist on gate valve. It twists on um, your sewer drain just like your sewer hose does and uh, it gives you an extra three inch gate valve to block up any, uh, any seepage that's coming out of your black or gray tank valves. So this right here is the Valterra twist on gate valve that we added. This is the original gate valve for our black tank here, which we need to replace the gasket in eventually. And back here is our gate valve for our gray tank. So this one may also be leaking, but this new Valterra valve is holding all that leakage back. Okay, I'm hot. Let's go inside. Yes. It's hot out there. It's so hot today. Well, Always hot. It leads to our next tip. Yeah, bring beer for your future friends and yourself. Yep. Um, we're both shy and awkward, so we found that bringing our favorite uh, beer, beer from a local brewery to share with our camp neighbors and stuff, especially when you're out boondocking, is a nice icebreaker. I'm gonna have one now. We don't have any local beer right now. <laughs> we gave it to all of our friends. But, we do have beer. Yep. And it's hot today. My new koozie from someone awesome in Maine. Mm, it is so cool. Looks like a lobster thong. You love it. <sighs> Cheers. Then you have a beer. I can have bourbon. And it led it to a neck tip. Get an ice tray that won't spill while you drive. Cheers. Okay, so let's start moving through the list. We've got a bunch of tips for you. And uh, don't leave too early because we'll have a bonus tip at the end. So my next tip is don't pack too much. And 
straight about half. You think two and a half socks enough? I think you need more. If you forget something, you can buy it along the way. You can use laundry along the way. There's even laundry mats with bars in them. Or if you forget toothbrush, you can share. Can we share? <laughs> you can't share, but you can find toothbrush any store. Now some driving tips. First is download Google Maps to be used offline. It's easy to download maps to be used offline. That way, if you do lose cell phone coverage, you can still be confident that you can find your way to a gas station, rest area, whatever you need. Download the map before you yeah. get to your destination. Download the maps before you leave. <laughs> and they take up very little space on your phone. Yeah. And that leads into our next tip, which is get a good cell phone mount for your vehicle. Uh, RV or truck, if you're towing, uh, you have a tow behind. We never touch our phones while we're driving. Either the passenger handles everything on the phone or we have our phone in a good phone mount. Um, we've been using the RAM mounts for years because they're really versatile. Um, they hold well. When you get a new phone, they still fit with that phone. Um, and we really love them. We'll have links to the ones we use below. While you're using Google Maps, it drains your battery really quick, especially if you're using Google Maps for three, four plus hours a day. So get yourself a good 12 volt charger. Um, we actually love this one. It's uh, 160 watts. So we use it to charge our phones while we're driving. We can charge our Bluetooth speaker and we can even charge our MacBook with it. Um, and the great thing about using it while you're driving is you're just using your alternator power instead of draining your house battery which would be the case if you waited until you got to your destination to charge everything back up. While you're driving, make sure you have some healthy snacks. We like to bring broccoli, bananas, and nuts. Oh, baby. Not that kind of channel. Let us know your favorite road trip snacks in the comments below. Also, make sure you're drinking enough water. And if you've got an older RV like us, and have no cup holders, make sure you fix that. We used to just have our water bottles rolling around on the floor everywhere we went and uh, making a bunch of noise. But we found these awesome uh, marine cup holders. I think they're made for boats and they worked perfectly for us. We just mounted them to the doghouse. We don't have to worry about spilling Kratai's favorite driving beverage. Next tip is something that I stressed out about a lot when we first got our RV because I was worried about our rear bumper or our holding tanks dragging on the ground just pulling up too steep of an incline or a driveway and I'm sure that people who are pulling trailers or have longer RVs than us have to worry about uh, parking lots being too tight for them to pull in. One of our most important tips is to get some apps so that you're able to reliably find RV friendly gas stations. We use the Loves app and the Pilot Flying J app yep. because um, a lot of these are basically truck stops. So if a tractor trailer can get in them, then so can yep. you. The other great thing about these two gas stations is a lot of them have RV rest areas and parking. And if you're boondocking or don't have your own shower in your RV, they also have yep. showers. Shower. I think some of the loves. Have laundry. Yeah, some of them yeah. have laundry, sewer hookups, yeah. sewer dump stations. Mm -hmm. uh, you can even get a site that you can plug in for the night. Mm -hmm. um, we stayed at one of them and it was really not bad. Speaking of gas stations, that leads us to a tip that we wish that we had started following years ago. You don't have to be an RV or just anybody who spends any kind of money. Get yourself a credit card that has a huge bonus reward. If you're going on a road trip, you're going to spend a ton of money on gas. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So get yourself a credit card that has like an 80,000 mile bonus, which for us, uh, 80,000 miles, we equate to about $2,000 worth of airline travel. This year we, we flew to Thailand, which was going to cost us $4,000 for a three week trip. And we flew for free. Um, Kratai signed up for one credit card. I signed up for another credit card. We put our regular spending on there and paid it off each month before there was any interest due. After we spent the minimum amount, we had enough miles 
to pay for our plane ticket. Essentially, it was $4,000 worth of tax-free money just for signing up to, for two cards. And we use it for last trip. Yeah, it's worth it. We, we got uh, another new credit card um, right before we went on this trip and put all of our gas expenses on there. But if you can't trust yourself to pay off the balance on your credit card every month, don't do this because it's not free rewards if you're paying interest. We'll put links to some of our favorite credit card reward bonuses um, in the comments below as well. This tip for the dog owners, get your uh, dog training collar. So we got this collar for our dog Chelsea because when we want her to run wild, if something dangerous happens, we can get her attention immediately. You never know if there's gonna be a snake or bears or bison or they get into some poison ivy or something. Chelsea listens well, but all we have to do is hit the, the vibrate or the beep function. And you know, she she looks for us or comes to us immediately. That's what she's doing. It worked well. It's one of our favorite items that have made us feel more comfortable having Chelsea out with us. Our next tip, um, and I, I love this item because I'm a gadget geek, I guess. Um, but get yourself a really good battery monitor. We went with the Victron BMV 712. It does way more than the battery monitor that comes on most RVs. It'll work with lead acid, it'll work with lithium, solar, and so much more. It gives you a little round monitor, but instead of just the gauge that comes in most RVs where you get, you know, your battery is at one third, two thirds, or full, um, this will actually tell you exactly what percent it is. It also connects to your phone with a Bluetooth app. Right now we only have a 100 amp hour lead acid battery and this allowed us to use our 12 volt fridge and see how much that 12 volt fridge was drawing in a 24 hour period. We can turn on our max air fan on any setting and see exactly how many amps it's drawing on each setting. It'll tell us while our fridge is on and while our fan's on at whatever setting, it'll say, you know, you can run how many hours? Or you can run off batteries for exactly this many hours. It also tells you a lot of data when you're charging. So it uh, lets us know exactly how many amp amps we're putting back into the batteries while we're driving from our alternator, or how many amps are going back into our batteries when we're plugged into shore power, like at an RV park or at our house. Mm -hmm. And once we get solar, it'll also work with that and it'll tell us you know, how much solar is going back into the batteries. We can use it like I said, with the battery that we have now, and we'll still continue to use it uh, when, we, yeah, when we get our solar. The next tip is you want to have a comfy bed after a long driving or hiking day. You want to have a comfortable bed to crawl into. Uh, now that you're in your cozy bed, uh, you're probably going to want to catch up on your favorite show. Our next recommendation is to make sure you have a really good cell phone plan that allows you to stream Netflix or Hulu. HBO Max on what your favorite show is. We have an unlimited data plan with Mint Mobile. We were a bit worried that we'd have some places on our trip that uh, we wouldn't have good signal. I think there was only one place in the middle of the Badlands that we didn't have at least four bars. Yeah. We highly recommend them, especially for the price. If you use our link below, you can get Mint Mobile unlimited plan right now for $15 a month. So that's it. Let us get back to watching our favorite show, Big Bang Theory. Go back to Sheldon. <laughs> Thanks for, Thanks watching. for watching. If you haven't already, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Leave us a comment with your favorite tips. Um, that we didn't know. Yeah. Maybe we didn't know about. We're still new so. to this and there's so many people out there sharing information, which is great. Yeah. We tried to just share stuff that we learned on our own that we hadn't already seen in other people's YouTube videos. So we hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Hopefully in our next video, we'll be beginning our RV renovations. Um, if we're still waiting on materials though, maybe we'll just take you on a hike or uh, maybe we'll just take the RV back out in the condition that it's in and do another yeah. camping trip. All right. so. See you next one. Bye. Oh, are you still here? You must have heard of a bonus tip, which is... Have a good attitude. <laughs> Shit's bound to happen. So... Just for in the famous words of John Cena. <laughs> Go back and watch our other videos <laughs> in a link if we're able to figure out how to put it in here. Three.